Now let's make the other drapes. Press Shift A, Mesh Plane. Change the rotation to 90 degrees. Shift H to solo that one. Tap to go to edit mode and change it in X by pressing S X all the way around two. Press Ctrl R make around 21 cuts like this and then Ctrl R again for cuts like that. Now we need to select this edge by pressing Alt click, skip one, Alt Shift click and select every other edge like that, like that, and so on. Press 7 on your number pad, press G, Y, and make it a little bit bigger, like that. Now that we have something like that, press 1 on your number pad, Alt click on this vertices, that one, go to vertex group, click on the plus icon, assign and change the name to pin. Tap to go back to object mode, right click on it, shades mode. Go to the modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface and leave it at cat mode clock. Alt H to unhide everything and then move this in Y by pressing G Y around the second one. Let's make some adjustments by putting it up G C around there put it at the distance that you want to have it this is just for a reference i'm gonna put around that area i'm just making some adjustments while i'm checking if i like that one now let's go to modifier add modifier cloth go to the physics tab all the way down to shape pin group Go to Collision, Self Collision. Select the Curtain O2, go to Physics and click on Collisions. And now as you can see, we have some movements over there. I'm gonna make some small changes by pressing Tab to go to Edit Mode, select the areas that we are already moving wide and move it a little bit more. So it's a little more pronounced, something like that. This is just a matter of taste. I'm going to change the names to drapes 04 and put it inside objects. Let's continue by pressing Shift A, Mesh Circle. Change the fill type to end gun. Rotate the circle 90 degrees. And now let's move it close to the third curtain all the way by pressing G Y like that then move it up G C around that area I like it now tap to go to edit mode press I for an in face around there I again another in face a little bit bigger then press a to select everything, S, X, and move it around there to create this shape. Now tap to go back to object mode, control 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Go to modifier, solidify. Right click on it, shade smooth, and leave it like that. Now let's press Shift A Curve Path. Change the C rotation in 90. Press Shift H. I'm gonna change the name. Camera Control and move it to the controls area. I'm also gonna move this circle to circle drapes and put it in objects. Select the camera control. Tap to go to edit mode. Now let's press S, Y, make it a little bit bigger, tap to go to object mode, Alt H to unhide everything, now select only the camera control, 3 on your number pad, press G, C, and move it up a little bit, 
close to the middle and the center. Then GY, move it, make the adjustments that you want. Tap to go to edit mode, select the first vertex, G seat to move it up. Then select the second one, GY. Select the second and the third one, right click on it, subdivide. I'm gonna adjust this one. Just making this curve as a path. Go to the camera, go to constraint, follow path. And target, select the camera control. Press N and change everything to zero. Also the rotation. Now let's change the rotation in seed by minus 90 and in Y 90. By selecting this camera control, tap to go to edit mode. Press S and make it a little bit bigger. Tap to go back to object mode. Press zero on your number pad. Let's go to view, area, vertical split. Now in this one we need to press zero. And then select the camera. Press R, X, and move it down. Pointing directly to the main drapes and the main curtains. I'm going to change the focal length by going to the camera object properties. Focal length around there. Now let's go back to constraint with the camera selected and click on animate path. And let's see what we have. Yeah. Something like that. If we move the camera close to the first curtain, we can now go to object properties, change the X rotation a little bit, and add a keyframe. Then go back to the first one, change the X rotation again. You put it like that, and add a keyframe too. So now we'll be having something like this. You could make adjustments if you want it. You could put it in a different direction or any other thing that you need. Because I'm only going to render 120 frames, I'm going to select this camera control, go to the object data properties, path animation, and change it to 130. Once you're happy with that, let's continue with the next thing. I'm going to use this camera for the curtains animation. If I go to the cane or staff, select that one, then move the camera a little bit around there, like that. Now I can move the keyframes from that cane to uh, make some adjustments with the camera. I will be looking like this. Let's move the camera again around there. Let's try to make some changes to the third curtain. Select the curtain control tree to see the keyframes and then move it like so. Let's check how this looks. Let me make some adjustments, move it a little bit before that, a little bit more. Probably that will be better. Now press Shift A, go to Mesh, Plane. Change the plane side to 5, Shift H to solo that one. Then let's go to this border, right click on it, Join Area. 
tap to go to edit mode, press S, X, and reduce it around 0.5. Leave it like that. Press 1 on your number pad, Control R to make 5 cuts right there. Select the one in the middle. Press O to proportional editing and make sure you have the sphere selected. Now that you have that, G seed and move it down a little bit and make sure you have a circle the same side that I have. With the proportional editing, turn it on again. Select the one on the top. Press G seed and move it down. Press Ctrl R, make around 20 cuts. Now that we have that, we need to make some selections. Select everything that is in the center, all the cuts. And then we need to deselect one, leave the other one, and deselect. It's like every other deselection, like a checkerboard. Once you have that, press 3 on your number pad, and then GY, and move it all the way around there. We'll be having something like that. Press Alt click and select the top area. Shift Alt click to select the sides and then go down and select the one in the center. Then let's go to vertex group plus icon, click assign and change the name to pin. Tap to go back to object mode, right click on it, shades mode. Go to Modifier, Subdivision Surface, change it to 2, now press 1 on your number pad, A to select everything, press Shift D to make a copy, X to move it in X axis and move it around there, move it down a little bit by pressing G, C, Shift D again, X and move it like that. G seed and adjust the distance. Tap to go back to object mode and we'll be having something like that. Now press N, go to dimensions and change it to 2.62 in X and 3.0, 3.02 in Y. If you want it, you can change the size. This is just the size that I want to use. Press Shift 8, Empty, Cube. Change the name of the empty to Drapes, Control. Put it inside the control area. Change that one to Final Drapes. And this one goes inside the curtains area. With that final drape selected, let's go to constraint, child of, and select the drapes control. Now if you move the cube, you will be moving everything else. With that cube selected, press G, Y, 7.5 to move it like that. Press Alt H to unhide everything. Then select the cube again. I'm moving in Z axis by pressing 1. Select the final drapes tab to go to edit mode. A to select everything. And then 7 on your number pad. Press G, X and adjust the distance. Tap to go back to object mode, go to modifier, add modifier cloth. Move the cloth up, then go to physics, cloth presets, denim. Change the stiffness tension to 30, the shear to 0, 
go all the way down to shape and select pin. Now select the empty cube, go to object properties, put a keyframe to the seed location, then move it a little bit on your timeline, move the seed location a little bit, add another keyframe, then move it a little bit on your timeline and add the last keyframe around there. All right, we have all the scene almost done. Let's now move the camera a little bit so we could try to make the adjustments for the animation of the last one. I'm gonna do it like that. Move the keyframes, press tab to go to edit mode. Now with the camera, by pressing zero on your number pad, select the second one in the right, press G wide and move it a little bit behind. Then select the last one. If you select one vertex and then press L, you can select everything and then press G Y, move it behind that one a little bit. You can make any adjustments that you want it. Remember, this is just a reference, and the final one will be your own creation. But I will leave it like that. We're gonna leave the video right here and I will see you on the next part.